Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival. We're still in Diamond City, and today we're gonna continue on with the main quest in a bit of a peculiar way, because uh, last time we saved Nick Valentine, so our next task is to talk to him and uh, see if he can help us out with our missing kid. But before we do that, we need to fix our alcohol addiction. But to do that, we need an item called a Dictol, and uh, we don't have that just yet, and the doctor doesn't seem to be in this morning. So I'm just going to drink up uh, once more, and then head to Nick Valentine. Oh god, it's really you. <laughs> well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday, death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here. I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but you deserve a reward. Plus a little something extra. You know... Because we get his clothes. Work and don't mind putting on the detective hat? Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. Look at that. What a comfy chair. Thank you, Nick. I'll do just that in my fancy charisma gear. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. So we'll do just that, but we'll skip through the important part where Nick starts to realize who we're talking about. One of them came right up to me. Wait, it couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? Um, no. No. They never said their names. Hmm. It's way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. Okay, so that could be Sean, of course, because we don't know how long we've been on ice since the, uh, the kidnapping. Maybe it's another kidnapped kid. Yeah. Either that or he's got a son of his own. Not a comforting thought in any case. Both of them vanished a while ago. Haven't been heard or seen since. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. So we could follow Nick around now, because of course the next part is to go and check out Kellogg's house find out what he knows, and then uh, use dog meat to track his whereabouts. But there's a few problems with that plan, because first off, I don't think we get the key. I'm going to check this out, but I don't think we have. And I've also started to realize that I don't know where dog meat went. So it's been a few episodes now that he hasn't been around me anymore. And while Nick is talking about Kellogg and how professional he is and just a mercenary, I'm going to have to otherwise go to back to Sanctuary, which is probably where he went, and find him back. And that's going to be a problem. So this house on the side is Kellogg's. Um, as we approach, Nick is going to try, so it's master locked and we don't have the key. So Nick is going to try to lockpick it. Here we are. Keep an eye out, will you? Let's see if I can get this open. Okay, I'll keep an eye out. Not that anybody's going to come around, but at least... Gives us a bit of time to uh, look around. Hide Kellogg. Why don't you give it a try? So he's gonna ask us to give it a try, but I mean, it's master locked. We can't do anything. So if that doesn't work, we're gonna have to go up to the mayor and convince him to give us the key. But um, my charisma skills aren't that high, and the problem with all of that as well is that I'm gonna have to purchase the entire house to get in there either way. So. Um, I can't. I mean, luck's really strong. There we go. So we can't do anything. So Nick. Hey, Valentine. No luck. Guess we'll need to find the key. Hmm, we can't get through that door. See that platform in the distance near the city entrance? That's the elevator to the mayor's office. Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. 
So we could go up there and go to the mayor, but I think it's gonna probably be easier for us to just head straight to where Kalog is. I've played this game before, so I know where he's hiding. And since I would have needed to fetch dog meat anyway, uh, this would have taken a long time because I don't have fast travel, so I needed to go all the way back to Sanctuary and do that. So instead, we'll head straight to where Kalog is hiding out. Before we do that, I'm going to check in with the doctor. He should be selling us some Addictal. So I'm actually wondering if I ask him to cure me, if he actually can get rid of my addiction. There we go. Cure addiction. 75 caps. for chem addiction, do you? We can sober you up. Please, don't be an idiot and go out drinking immediately after the procedure. We won't. So thank you, doc. I will talk, thanks, thanks for all of that, so at least we got that done, um, so no more addiction for us. So now we can head out into the wilderness again, uh, pick up my power armor and we'll head into the direction of Fort Hagen. So, one more save before we go and then we'll head into the power armor and get on our way. I think we should have enough fusion cores to go there and back again, yeah, three should be enough. Uh, so let's head out. I'm going to show you on the map. So Fort Hagen is kind of completely west of, uh, we started looking at that from a while back. So completely west of Oberland Station. So I think it's right around here. We can see it from there as well. Um, and I think we'll do that first. Yeah, before we go. The Scabbard House is also something I really want to do. But I guess we should actually go for Fort Hagen first now that we're working on that. Okay, and right outside of Hangman's Alley, we already have Raiders. So there's a Psycho over there and another Psycho over there. So if we just focus on that Psycho first. There we go. We got that. I think we're out of action points. Um, but if they charge back up, I can just quickly pop out. There she is. Go for the head and get a critical. There we go. Through the wall. Because that's how that works, right? Just straight through the walls. And now we can actually save up two criticals to a maximum of three in the bank. So that is really, really nice. So we can deal with psychos easily now, which is really, really good. Because I was kind of worrying about their damage output right now. But I think that's, that's kind of the reason we want to do Fort Hagen now. Because it kind of unlocks a few uh, extra possibilities for us in the short term. Um, but if we approach around this area, I think we should get a special event rather soon. If I'm not mistaken. Could completely be mistaken, but I think this is supposed to be the location, right? Um, for some reason that's not happening. It might be that I'm still too low of a level. I'm not entirely sure. I thought it triggered at level 15, but... Could be wrong. So those satellite dishes up there are Fort Hagen. So that's exactly where I need to go. So if you just head straight west from here, we should be able to reach it. But of course, there's water in the way. So we need to head towards that little dam. And I'm at the quarter of my current fusion core. But I still have three extras left. So I think I should be able to uh, finish up this mission. There is... Is that a robot near that... Satellite dish over here. There's something on fire. It seems to have been a protectron. The relay tower. Seems to be booby trapped as well, but I'm way too trusting of this. There we go. We can actually use the relay tower to uh, expand the uh, our signal here. With oh, what's this? So this guy is being held up by Fred and Angie. Let's go have a look. Get to Bunker Hill. After that, you'll never see me again. I promise. You ain't gonna rat us out to the Institute. Don't come any closer, friend. This doesn't concern you. Please, help! They're going to kill me! Shut up! Um, I don't know. I think these guys are, uh, synths, if I'm correctly. So you're not gonna rat us out to the Institute. Um, and this guy wants to go to Bunker Hill. And Bunker Hill is kind of a safe haven for, uh, Institute since so let's try to negotiate. I'm sure we can work this out. No one has to die fat chance This synth has been watching us for weeks knows everything about us 
we let this thing go. How long before it comes back with its institute buddies to put us down? Why the hell would we risk that? Well, because, I mean, kill the synth, okay? Um, the synth actually wants to go to Bunker Hill, which means he needs to, he wants to talk to the contact for the railroad there, so he doesn't want to be at the institute anymore, so hasn't hurt you yet. You need to let him go. Think about it. If he meant to hurt you, wouldn't he have done it already? Maybe he's just biding his time. I don't know, and I don't care. But this thing is not... <sighs> okay. Then you're gonna have to release him, buddy. <sighs> you don't need to be afraid of the Institute. You let him go, or I'll kill you both myself. Jesus. You're serious. All right. But if I ever see you again, I'm putting one right between your eyes. Oh my god. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Just get the hell out of here. That actually worked. I mean, they look imposing in this power armor, but still, didn't expect that was going to work. I know I have one charisma extra from the uh, the Minuteman paint job, but still, could have worked out uh, a lot worse than that. Great, that's a little side quest on the go. And then we're on the dam with a little uh, village right next to it. I think there might also be ghouls here. These people seem to be just living here, but I don't think this place is safe. It looks safe. Also need to be careful that I don't get uh, mined or something, because there's a lot of oil on the floor here. But if there's nobody here, might as well check the place out a bit. Since the dam isn't working anymore, this entire village has actually been submerged into water. But I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be ghouls around here as well. Um, seems to be pretty well occupied though in this particular playthrough because there's like candles and lanterns all over the place yeah this seems to be nice I do hear ghouls now so that's probably not good are they oh god I don't know why the hell that turned into fire all of a sudden but that's a rumor Roamers can hurt. There we go. Let's just go for the critical. I think there's one on my right as well. Which is exactly why I'm not looking at my right for some reason. Hello? Because I can hear it shambling around, but... I mean you a lot of harm. Oh god, it's a stalker. Um, uh, legs? Oh god. There we go, let's just go for the legs completely there, because if I can cripple it, it's basically useless, or I can just kill it. What the hell, why am I not hitting it? That was a bit weird, but there we go. That was, yeah, a stalker. So that's immediately the highest tier, well, the, for now, highest tier of ghouls. I'm just going to leave this place, I don't need to be here. I just need to go up this hill, and then we're at Fort Hagen. Oh god, there's another one coming. It's a normal one. Okay, but still kind of hit me for some reason. Oh, and my arm is damaged now. God damn it. And there's probably not... Would there be a power armor station in this place? Because there was a weapons workbench and an armor workbench. So usually that means there might also be... Another... Oh, crap. There's actually at least three more ghouls. And that's a stalker. There we go. Let's take it out from afar. There we go. There that one goes. And there that one goes. And we get Idiot Savant on that one. Which is always nice. We didn't even waste too much... Uh, too many action points there. Okay. Oh, God. There's a lot more where that came from. There that one goes, there that one goes, and then there's one more that's now going to shamble into the water, that's a roamer, there we go. Oh wow, and there's another one. Okay, luckily we have all the ammo in the world, just going to check this out, ooh, I am taking rads here, and severe rads by the way, oh crap, that's not good, let's just get out. The water is extremely irradiated, and I'm still in danger, apparently. Oh, hi. 
Um, oh no, that, that's not good. Um, so let's just go with the torso. Oh wow. Okay, he was in my face for a second there. This place is crawling with ghouls. Okay, there's another one. There we go. Just blasting him away with uh, a lot of missing shots. Because this thing isn't really accurate at the moment. I haven't invested into any scopes or anything like that. So probably not the best thing. So there we go. With that stalker, we actually level up. And there's one more normal ghoul. So usually three torso shots are enough. And that gets us up to level 18, if I'm not mistaken. There we go, level 18. 18. What are we going to do with 18? We need to start working towards science as well. But for now, I think we're going to go into one perk of armor. Because that means we start also unlocking more parts of the power armor upgrades. And that's exactly where we need to go as well, if you we want to make a badass piece of power armor. So there we go, armor 1. I should probably also go into Gunslinger 3 next time. Because um, that's also, since we're always using pistols, that should also be a priority. But, you know what? Never mind. Let's head to Fort Hagen now immediately. And then we get a little bit of extra lore with this uh, truck over here. Because if you remember, our chat systems was actually working on this exact same thing. So if you check out this terminal, I don't know if I will be able to uh, access it. We can. You actually see that this is the exact same thing. We, so we could do a test fire and go back out of this. And then this thing is gonna, it's gonna do the exact same thing it did inside of ArcJet systems. It's just gonna fire away at everything. But of course it failed, so it just kind of explodes in a giant hail of uh, blast fire. So yeah, we kind of blew up this, uh, this engine now. I don't think that... Oh, Jesus Christ. That actually gets us anything. Um, I'm not exactly sure. But I, I just wanted to show you guys this. What's a, a little bit of a cool environmental thing. But if we just crest this hill, we'll see the, the shining satellite dishes of Fort Hagen. And I need to get across this fence somehow. Oh, there we go. There's an opening in the fence. That's always easy. Thank, thanks, guys. Oh, hi. There's a... Oh, a legendary albino rat stag. Okay. One. And another one. Please. Jesus Christ. Okay. I don't think I ever saw one of those. Martis Synth Chest Be Synth? Ooh, so temporary slows time during combat when you are at 20% health or less. That's actually pretty good. Because um, Martyr, yeah, Martyr is really, really good. And like, ooh, wow. My power armor did take a hit because of that, though. Uh, and I'm not certain that there's going to be... Yeah, there's going to be blood flies here, but... I'm not certain that there's going to be a power armor station around here. I should have checked my power armor state first. We do need a bloatfly gland, but I think this place is also filled with insects. Uh, so I'm not even exactly sure if I can just grab that without getting hit by anything else. No, I can't. There's a, a blood bug. Just gonna shoot it out of the sky. There we go. We get an extra critical from that. Always better to just uh, start working towards the next one. So Greater Mass Blood Clinic. This place is terrible. I hate this place. Because this place is filled with insects. And I hate insects. Especially the buzzing noise they all make. Blood bug meat. But I don't get double again. Which is really weird. For some reason I get double the meat from some insects. But not others. So. Oh, that's a short hunting rifle. Don't really need that. So let's just get the, the Fort Hagen itself. Because I don't think. Oh god. There might actually be legendary bugs in here as well, and it, since they're pretty weak, might as well take them out. That's one. There's another blood bug hatchling over there, so that's a... Ooh! Yeah. I should have shut up. A legendary festering bloat fly. I'm gonna be poisoned. This is not good, because it's gonna regenerate as well. 
Oh god, yeah, oh wow. No, 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 no. I'm ill. Ooh, crap, this isn't good. This isn't good. So, first, antibiotics. Then, the big one, Nuka-Cola Quantum. That refills all my action points in one go. To get a bit of rats, but also starts the healing up really quickly. I'm gonna grab some more mud chops, and then I think I might as well... Could go with Psycho as well. I risk addiction, and I don't have a lot of them on me. Oh god, that poison isn't going away anytime soon, is it? Um, I think I might actually die. And then another critical? But that's gonna be it, I think. Um... Yeah, I'm definitely dead. I am definitely dead. Oh, crap. Yep. Wow. Okay, and I lost saved in... Crap. Okay. Ooh, this is... This hurts. This one really hurts. Um, yeah. So we're back at Hangman's Alley. That's about half an hour's worth of progress gone. But on the upside, I didn't really find anything useful in uh, the marsh. So that just means I just need to be a hell of a lot more careful now, shouldn't I? That was completely my own fault. I should have, yeah. I mean, I even said it before we head in, there might be legendary bugs. And now we just got totally owned by a freaking fly. Again, that science, that, that lab lady was absolutely out of her mind. Sending out kits to collect bloat fly glands. Where are these raiders gone to now? Are they completely gone? That is also interesting. Oh no, there's... Oh, now there's super mutants. I'm just gonna... No, you don't need... No, don't need to look at me. I'm just gonna leave over here. I do vaguely remember this road, so it's not the road we're supposed to be taking. But at least it'll get me there. Oh, what the hell is... Oh, there's a scorpion fighting two stingwings over there. Oh, Jesus freaking Christ. Yeah, we're definitely getting into the higher levels now. I'm just going to avoid all that business. Because um, those are just, that's just a battle royale between those like four creepily, heavily armored insects. So I'm just going to leave them over there. I don't, I don't need to bother with them. So back where we were, uh, there's a... That's the normal bloat fly I killed before. And I can't hit it this time. Oh god, there's another one. Okay, so that's two normal bloat flies. I can deal with that. I'm even going to use a critical on it. So I can definitely hit it. And we got Idiot Savant. And that's 50-50 on that bloat fly. And they explode. And I got the gland. That's the, the only thing I needed. Just the gland. So now I'm going to... Just circle around really, really widely, because there's definitely, yeah, more insects where that came from. And I don't want to risk facing another legendary bloat fly. If I want to... It's really sad that I don't now have that chest piece. That was a synth chest piece with Martyr on it. Martyr is really, really good. I mean, it just slows time. If you have one piece of that, it just slows time to a crawl if you drop below 20%. But, Fort Hagen, there we go. We need to be careful because there's turrets posted on top of the rooftops. But for now, we seem to be fine. I think there's... The front door is going to be closed. Right? Yeah. So we need to go around into the garage. So down into the garage. We need to be careful because I think there might actually be a few ghouls in here. Um, oh. There's even a bed here. That's actually really good. Because I can use that bed to sleep and actually drop a save. There's actually quite a few good supplies here as well. Um, but my brackets were shuffling. Though I don't really see anything. So let's just grab this bed as a little safe. There we go. One hour of sleep. Let's go back into the power armor and head back into Fort Hagen itself. And when we get inside... Yeah, we get since. Okay, so that's good. I was... Hoping that we could even skip the uh, the door phase so that we didn't need to go into uh, Kellogg's house itself before triggering this. Are you attempting an ambush? And since there are synths here, that kind of confirms my theory that we can just go further. So, 
This place is crawling with sins. Um, they're all in the upper floor. So if we're careful, we might actually be able to get pretty close. Place a few mines and then lure them over. So this is the hallway that everything is going to go to shit in. So let's grab this first synth. As you can see, they're pretty heavily armored. So again, Institute Synths means that we can grab a lot of fusion cells. So that's definitely something I'm going to do in this mission. Uh, while we're just going around the place murdering everybody. So single criticals actually kill these guys. Oh, that was a high fire rate weapon. So let's just pop in and kill this guy with a few torso shots. There we go. Still in danger, so there's definitely still one running around trying to find us. But as long as I keep my health popped up, this should all be fine. Damn it, I stepped on a mine. Stepped on a mine, kind of lost one of my legs. My leg pieces, that's not good. At least it's better than after we uh, were completely damaged by that bloat fly. So as you can see, the sins are actually pretty resistant to uh, energy damage. Which uh, means that, that we're at a bit of a disadvantage here. Of my sensors clearly needs but for now we should be fine. I think even if I go with the sniper rifle, would that make any difference? Um, no, it clearly doesn't. Um, I could just toss some mine. Are they going to come that close? There we go. So they got damaged there. And one of them is on the floor. And then the rest torso shots. There we go. Taken care of with a single mine. That's always the way to go. If we can uh, avoid too much confrontation, we should always do that. And in the kitchen we get guns and bullets. So ballistic weapons permanently do plus 5% critical damage. Which is of course really nice for our build as well. So that's another multiplier on top of that. I think with this ladder we could get on top of the roof. But that's not where we want to go. We want to go deeper inside of the building. And by opening one more thing we actually get enough experience to level up again. So we know where that one goes. Although, in this case, now that I have the option. I might as well go for Gunslinger now. So Gunslinger... Three, so 60% more damage and in range is increased even further. So that's going to be the priority here. So if we loop all the way around we find another turret. And then in the back here that should be our final sense of this area. Because this area is just one big loop. But it's blocked off from one side. So hello you there. Let's just pop him in the face. And I think there's at least... One more, yeah. Where the hell is he? Ah, he. I think he's in the back there. I think I saw him just peeking out there, yeah. Oh, there's definitely frag mines here as well, but there he is. Synth leader. That's not a kill. But... Hello. Goodbye. The there we go. Didn't really take that much extra damage. Now we need to be careful because I think there's actually more than one mine. There we go. That's one. Focused Agitated Institute Pistol. That might actually be better for my gun than what I have at the moment. I'm going to have to check that out in a second. But first the big chest. Always good loot. So four fragmentation grenades. A mine. And some extra loot. Can't check out the terminal here. So that's going to be annoying. And now we come to what I was already afraid of. This is supposed to be the next part of the quest. The elevator. But the elevator is blocked off. Because I'm here too soon. God damn it. I knew that I was... Yeah, I was too soon on that. So I need to break into Kellogg's house before this opens up. I need to at least get started with dog meat. Ah, this is annoying. I thought I was... I was hoping I, I could skip this. But apparently not, so we're gonna have to do a little bit of a detour. Oh, look at that, it's Mr. and Mrs. Summer from uh, and Miss Rosa from uh, Sanctuary, if I recall correctly. So these guys are supposed to be the families that were killed because, oh god, these guys were actually pretty strong. Um, hi! Mr. Sumner is flying in my face. 
then Miss Rosa can actually just oh just die from normal gunfire. Oh god, that, that was a mistake. I shouldn't reload like that. Miss Mrs. Donahue. Hello, critical to the face. There we go. She did manage to get a hit in there. Wait, where's the rest of the family? I still I'm still being attacked, apparently. Oh, there he is. Mr. Parker. Hello, I still have a critical for you, Mr. Parker. There we go. Oh, snap. Was, wait, what the fuck? Ow. Stop hitting me. I warn you, Mr. Donahue. I'm warning you. Stay back. Stay back. Stay back. Okay, the entire family was here. And he broke my arm. That's flipping great. Thanks for that. I really needed that. That's a whole bunch of ghouls in here then, right? I really need to be more careful. Because, yeah, they just... They're just going through my resources, aren't they? I need to get to a power armor station. I'm not exactly sure if there is one in Hangman's Alley. I don't think there is. And I can't really make one now, can I? Just yet. But let's look at the positive side. We're back at Hangman's Alley. And that focused pistol was actually better than the one I have on my Righteous Authority. So if I just swap out the Photon Exciter... Wait... Where did it go? Oh, it is actually a specific Institute Laser Photon Agitator, so I can't do anything with that. God damn it. So, back in Diamond City, I got my fancy red dress on, and we're heading towards the office of the mayor. Because he supposedly should be able to help us out in grabbing the key to Kellogg's house. Hopefully. Because, I mean, this is still Fallout, so everything can go wrong. We'll go wrong. Afraid of talking to the press? Oh, that reminds me of this article I'm writing about the mayor's affair with a certain air-headed blonde. Oh, look who it is. What brings you to the mayor's office, huh? Well, I wanna... Oh, you first. Charisma option, always experience. What are you doing here, Piper? I'm trying to find out why the mayor happens to be meeting with the same suspicious-looking courier every other week. Not from any settlement I've ever heard of. And not from a caravan. Always in and out before anyone has a chance to talk to him. An errand boy from the Institute, maybe. <laughs> After this article comes out, that's what everyone's going to be asking. If you are done crowding the reception area, Miss Piper, the mayor needs to make time for more responsible citizens. <laughs> I was just leaving anyway. Bye, Piper. See you next time. The mayor Hello. Visitors, as long as they aren't members of the press. Did you need help? Yes. Kellogg's house. I need to talk to someone about Kellogg's old house in the West Stands. Mr. Kellogg's residence? He left town a while ago. We foreclosed on the property and locked it up. If there was something belonging to the man that you have a claim on, you could ask the mayor to hear you out. No guarantees. Okay, thanks. I'll talk to the mayor then. He set aside time to talk to petitioners all day. Best of luck. Yeah? Ah, yes. I remember you, our new arrival. I wish I was in your shoes, getting to see our glorious city for the first time. How can I help you? Well, I need the keys to Kellogg's house. I'm looking for a key to a house in the city. I assume the mayor's office has a copy. <laughs> well, we don't have every key in the city. Where would we put them all? <laughs> Besides, every citizen in my city has a right to their privacy. Now, if we did have a key, only the owner can ask for it. That's my final word. So now we can either bribe him or try to convince him that Kellogg is the kidnapper. We should have a chance of getting this. Please, Mayor McDonough. This man Kellogg kidnapped my baby. I need to find him. Oh, of course. I... I will do everything in my power to help you overcome this horrible personal tragedy. I remember Mr. Kellogg. Didn't like him myself. Paranoid. Never talked to anyone. I doubt you'll find him. But I insist you take the key to his old house. It's been abandoned, though. I'm afraid this whole thing might be fruitless. And there we go. We do get the key. We got the charisma option, which is always very nice. So let's get back to Nick Valentine. Hey, Nick, we got the key. 
Got the key? All right, let's head in. You do the honors. All right, I can use the key. I feel so happy right now. So there's a few items over here, but the most interesting thing is, of course, behind his desk. Where would it be otherwise? So, uh... Yeah, so Nick already indicates that this place might be bigger than it looks. And if you push this button underneath the desk... It's actually not that well hidden, because there's like a wire running from, you know, the, de the desk across the ceiling to the store. And I'm gonna grab everything that I can use. There's even a plasma grenade in this thing. And four fusion cores, that's exactly what I needed. Oh wow, that's a really nice top up there. I kind of forgot about those. Because I think they're kind of guaranteed to be spawning in here. Um, otherwise, I think I'm just gonna grab all the loot that I can carry. Gwyneth's stout beer, 44 caliber bullets, cigars, San Francisco sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. So if we grab the cigars, we might be able to use dog meat to catch the scent. I wonder if dog meat could pick up the scent. Say, that's not a bad idea. Some dogs out there in the Commonwealth can track a man for miles. Why don't you go fetch him and let him have a whiff? See if he picks up the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. Well, I'm gonna head out on my own, so goodbye, Nick. Goodbye. Thanks for the help. Nick is such a nice guy, so now he's available as our companion, but of course, companions means that he's gonna take away the lone wanderer perk, and I don't want to lose that just yet. And now the game shows me what a complete idiot I am and spawns dog meat around outside of the door. So I shouldn't have skipped anything, I could have just gone straight to uh, Fort Hagen after we've done this. Hello dog meat. Dog meat. Back in Diamond get the scent boy. And I'm actually going to take advantage of this to uh, get the, you know, get, get dog meat with boy. us again. Take me to that son of a bitch. Woof. So there we go, dog meat is now our companion again, and we complete getting a clue. Don't, again, you finish a quest, but don't get, don't get it, it's a fun, so sadly. But we do start our next quest, and the next one is reunion. So that sounds positive, right? Let's get back to Fort Hagen. Okay, and on the way back to Fort Hagen, things get even worse as we're being hit by a freaking rat storm. Oh man, that was first one of the playthrough, by the way. But I'm just gonna burn through this power core getting back to uh, Fort Hagen. We're almost there. We still need to go up the uh, the hill here. But that should actually get us there. So I think we're just... We've just burned... Yeah, we've burned through that one fusion core. But we're back at Fort Hagen. Let's just dive into the parking garage. I think because the parking garage is outside and there's a rat storm going on. That I won't be able to actually sleep this time. Because I'm gonna be taking constant damage. So I'm not even gonna bother... I think there's a few bats inside of the facility as well. So let's just go in. So there we go. Now we get the completion check for Fort Hagen and dog meat is with us as well. So that kind of skips that bit. But there's still, I think this, yeah. Oh god, they all respawned, didn't they? There we go. Let's just grind one more final critical on that guy. And just continue the loop. The mine should also be gone. So let's hope for that. And there's even a few ash piles left. So now, there's a third up top. And there's a synth leader. So let's use the criticals on the... Ooh. On the synth leader. Yeah, I need to... Can, can I go back? Thank you. So let's grind another critical on the laser turret. There we go with that. Our action points are completely gone. And now the leader is going to come for us. There might actually be synths coming in the back here as well. And now we can grab the synth leader and shoot him in the back of the head. There we go. And one final critical. There we go. Might actually be synths in our backs now, but I feel like we should be fine. Ooh, wow. That's a lot of stuff. So that's a complete, almost complete set of lightweight laminated scent gear. I'm just gonna check what I have right now. I could have taken the shortcut. I just, <laughs> I just recall I could have just taken the shortcut. That would have been easier, right? And now the elevator is clear. That's something at least. 
So I swapped out my right leg for that laminated uh, synth right leg. So that's a bit more protection as well. Not that it's going to matter in the power armor. Detected. But uh, I think we should be home free now. So that's the end of that. I can't really open this up because I need advanced uh, hacking to open that up. But uh, yeah, now we can just use the elevator. And Dogme just managed to get into the elevator in a normal way, which is always nice. Hi Dogmeat. Hi Dogmeat. And now the announcer is taken over by somebody. Is he going to start talking now? I feel like he should be starting to talk. Um, let's grab the grenades. So 11 fragmentation grenades. Might as well uh, toss those in the back there. Oh god, it's, he still saw me. And I think that blew up all of them. Then I can dismantle the laser tripwire. Because that just triggers the shock thing on the wall over there. And if I go over here... Oh, so that's a shortcut back to the beginning of the uh, area. So I think there might actually be a weapons workbench over here. Yeah, there's an armorer's workbench over here, but we don't need it just yet. Um, so yeah, weapons and armor's workbench, as I suspected. And we're almost, because of all that killing, we're almost at uh, level 19 now, which is also really good. Uh, so there's another synth. I just think I'm just going to shoot him in the back. There we go. No need to make that any harder than it's supposed to be. Yeah, if it isn't my old friend, there we go. TV dinner. Hello, Kellogg. Last time we met, you were cozying up to the peas and apple cobbler. So, we could open the door, but there, there's a tension trigger right here. If Dogme would get out of the way... Oh, I missed you, buddy. I missed you, buddy. Let's just open that up, because there's not a Tesla coil above here. And I can't enter, because Dogme is in the way. Dogme, thank you. But, going deeper in the facility, we have another turret that I can just quick fire down to hell. And then open up the next door, which doesn't seem to be booby-trapped, at least on this side. I uh, need to be careful not to trigger any lasers Sorry, as well. I kind of cut Kellogg off there because I uh, didn't realize that we're already in the command center. We're going through this pretty quickly now since we killed off most of the uh, ones the since at the beginning. The Gave you 50 50 odds of making it to Diamond City. After that, I figured the Commonwealth would chew you up like jerky. Well, it didn't. Um, I'm still here. So there's plenty more dudes where that came from. So I think I'm just going to toss, toss in a grenade. That, for some reason, had um, a, a collision box. Okay, so that was another bit of experience. So I thought, I thought I should have hit two there. And I only got experience for one. So that's that. I think there was even a, a bigger one, no? No, that was a normal synth. That's the same synth. It's just its head. And that was a strider. There we go. I th thought I saw a strider there. Okay, so we're gathering up way more ammunition that we'll, than we're ever going to need, but uh, as long as we can, why not, eh? Why not, they? Eh? This laser pistol is going to be with us for quite some time. You're pissed off, I get it, I do. But whatever you hope to accomplish in here, it's not going to go your way. So we got a few nice hats here. I'm wondering if there's actually a charisma hat in one of those. Ooh, and plasma cartridges. Don't mind if I do. Formal hat actually has one charisma, so that's going to be good for our uh, charisma gear. So I'm just going to keep that. The rest can actually go. Uh, but now, let's go and find Kellogg and murder that son of a bitch. Is someone present? Yes, someone is definitely present. And there's another laser turret over there. There we go. Oh god. There was another turret over there and I lost my other arm now. So I really need a power armor station. Because uh, I don't think I have a lot of... Ooh, last way it is. I don't think I have a lot of uh, armor rating left. So, yeah, definitely gonna have to go for that. So there's one more synth probably behind the corner. Ooh, enhanced targeting card. Really you wanna do that? Hi. I'm just gonna grind a critical against you. Please don't punch me. Did he pinch me? Not really sure. So sometimes it's... Like, oh god, yeah. Hi. Fuck off. And we leveled up from that. 
That's really nice. Always like it when we level up. Um, dog meat, can I, can I please? I mean, I hate why they sometimes program him to just stand in front of your face. I know he's cute. He's really cute. He's really, really cute. Don't, don't say that I ever said he's not cute, but danger. Okay. That's a magic dirt. Um, dog, oh, fuck's sake, dog meat. Get out of my face. There we go. Taking out the dirt. And now, leveling up. So, I don't think I'm high enough for Gunslinger just yet. Gunslinger 4, so let's just go with Armorer next. Or I could go with one more point to Intelligence. No, Armorer first. Because if we find an Armorer uh, workstation, that's gonna come in really handy. And over here we have another Fusion Core. There we go. Definitely something we could use. Since I'm really uh, good on resources, there's only a few more things I really want to work towards. It's, uh, of course, better weapons. And on the other hand, better armor. And the armor is going to come in uh, really, really soon. Once I get to a power armor workstation, I can start upgrading everything with the resources in uh, Hangman's Alley. Because we've been gathering a lot of ceramic. And ceramic is really important if you want to build more, uh, well, upgrades to your power armor suit. So we're in the cafeteria, kind of. And in here we have the energy weapons bobblehead, which is, of course, really important because we permanently gain 25% extra critical damage with energy weapons. So that's on top of all the other bonuses. Sadly, if we go in here, we actually trigger... Uh, if we go any deeper, we actually trigger a bunch of extra sins coming into the place. Could have actually placed a mine to deal with those, but uh, I think we're pretty good on all of that. Um, there they are. I'm just gonna toss a grenade down here. Curious. And that one is also completely damaged, so there we go. Easy peasy with a single grenade. And there we get the Fort Hagen Armory password, so I think we can use that to get into the uh, the armory upstairs if you uh, don't have the skills for it. I think Dogmeat just per. What are you doing, Dogmeat? Oh, a legendary sense trident. That's great. So that's also triggered by grabbing the password. How the hell did you... I'm really confused right now. So I think he's right around the corner. There he is. Um, hi. Would you die from one headshot? Yeah, he would. Because now with that 25% extra damage, extra critical damage, that starts stacking really, really quickly. So let's see, a Poisoner's Pipe Bolt Action Pistol. So Poisoner's so target is poisoned for 10 seconds, which is actually not bad. If you know of a target that uh, is weak to poison, that could actually really help. You are in over your head in ways you can't possibly comprehend. Well, if you say so, Kellogg, but I think you're way over your head. It's not too late. Stop. Turn around. Not a lot of people can say that. So yeah, Kellogg just wants to give us a... He's really friendly. He wants to give us another shot at leaving. Can I actually shoot at that thing now? There we go. Because there's more turrets than anything else. And this is the, uh, the terminal to open up the armory right here. So it's not the armory at the beginning. So let's just open up the door. And that should give us a bunch more ammo. It's also really weird that the armory... I mean, it's called an armory. It shouldn't have armor. Because there's the Fat Man, a uh, 10mm pistol, an automatic laser pistol, and a bunch of ammo for all of these things. But that's basically it. There's no real armor here, if I recall correctly. Because there's... Yeah, it's just ammo and two weapons. Uh, three weapons. Thank you, Dogmeat. You kind of opened the door for me there. But with that done, I think we're pretty much home free. We could check out with the uh, the logs of uh, Fort Hagen over here and of course the US Covert Operations Manual, permanently more difficult to detect while sneaking. So that's the uh, third upgrade within Fort Hagen, if you've been uh, counting. But basically this place was used as a bunker, a safety bunker for one man, one man and his family. The mayor of this little town, if I recall correctly. I think most of the terminals actually tell you that. But uh, yeah, and he just left everybody else to die while he was just sitting here cozily. And that's a really strong turret. I think I'm just going to fire twice at it to get my criticals up. And then wait until it's done firing. 
And there we go. Ooh, I did take a few hits there. And once we go past that turret into what I think is the final room. Yeah, so this room, it's a little bit weird. So this seems like an investigation room. So there's a camera and a really awkwardly placed bed in the middle of the room. So this is kind of basically um, Kellogg's hideout. And this is also the final room before we actually meet him. Which means it's also the perfect place to have a little nap. Okay, you made it. I'm just up ahead. My synths are standing down. Let's talk. So basically we're gonna go uh, the same route as we did with Skinny Malone. We're gonna be kindly interrupting his dialogue and just go um, into, well, just normal mode and place another uh, bottle cap mine behind his ass. And since this is a, a clean bed, uh, we get the well rested bonus as well, so more experience for us. And then I'm gonna just equip the bolt cap mines and let's head into his final area. So we open up the door and we kind of get back to where we were before. So we were in that hallway a while back, but now we can actually enter the most resilient woman in the Commonwealth. So uh, I'm just before we talk to him, I'm just gonna walk around here and then place like a little bottle cap that was not what i wanted to do why wasn't that bottle cap mines i'm just gonna i'm just i'm just, I'm just gonna die so i kind of took the wrong thing um let's try that again i should also be mindful because apparently those guys are considered hostile as they are holy crap i'm just gonna walk around here and just place one I think over here, so right over there, there we go. So there's one synth behind me, need to be careful about that as well. And now we can talk to Kellogg. So, here we are. End of the line, yeah. buddy. End of the line, Kellogg. You die, and I get my son back. You can turn around right now. Go back the way you came, Sean. Well, besides being a bit older than you were expecting, I'm afraid he's not even here. So you see, it is the end of the line. But not the way you imagined. Um, okay, so tell me that. Tell me where he is, damn it. Fine. I guess you've earned that much. Sean's in a good place. Where he's safe and comfortable and loved. The place he calls home. The Institute. So, uh, and how do I get there? So where is it, huh? This Institute? How do I get there? <laughs> Haven't you been paying attention? You don't find the Institute. The Institute finds you. You open the closet. It's just a closet. You can never find the monster that hides inside. Not until it jumps out at you. But I think we've been talking long enough. We both know how this has to end. So, you ready? I love how calm he is about all of this. He's just accepted his fate, kinda, and there's a reason for that. But we'll get into that a bit later and give him the sarcastic option. In a hundred years, when I finally die, I only hope I go to hell so I can kill you all over again. He's gonna stand over here Shit. and uh, shoot this synth in the face. There we go. And there goes Kellogg. And then I can actually just headshot this synth. And then if I can, because Kellogg is invincible, invisible. Wow, he actually packs a punch. I'm just gonna go into my inventory here for a second and grab a few things, because he's pretty, pretty hefty. I'm gonna take a Nuka Cola Quantum. And then a few purified waters. Oh, I'm still parched. No, I shouldn't have done that. I just need to eat. Because I can't use vats on them like this. It's going to run out eventually, but... There it goes. So the Nuka Cola Quantum helped with uh, healing there because I also already lost a leg and an arm. Uh, as you saw, the bottle cap mine only did about a third of his health. So, Kellogg is hard. 
So let's get his terminal password, the cybernetic brain augmented, which is a quest item. You were barely human. And then get Kellogg's pistol. So refills your action points on a critical hit. And it has pretty high damage as well, even though it's just a base weapon. And then we can grab his ammo, which I'm definitely going to do because I'm going to start using his pistol for a little bit. And then two stealth boys, and then those are just cybernetic stuff. I could just grab all of that. I can carry it. You can go into his terminal and check out his uh, history with Sean and what he did with him. Uh, so we kept him around for a few years, took uh, care of him, and then brought him to the Institute, which is basically what we were expecting. Ah, we got some Addictal from this... Uh, this healing uh, box here, this, um, what's it called? A med kit, from the med kit. And now we can find a whole bunch of really cool pieces of equipment that are just, uh, well, really good material wise, because these are all clean. So clean institute stuff is always nice for materials. And now right next to the terminal, we get another Robco nice. Fun with the Pipfall Holotape game. And through the terminal, we can also open up the door so we now can get back out. In the hallway, we have a shortcut back to another elevator, which leads right outside. So, we do need to be careful. Wait, what the hell is this? Okay, buff out. Never mind. Buff out is always nice. Uh, we can open up a few lockers over here. I'm just going to grab all of that. Materials are always handy. And we still have a bit of space left. So, there we go. We get to roof access. And we can actually use the terminals over here to turn down the turrets outside. So, if you use turret control, we can actually deactivate all of them. Otherwise, they would shoot us down. And then we can open up the door, which leads us back outside. And when we get outside, things actually start heating up a bit. Because this is officially the end of Act 1. And there we have the Pridwin. Do not interfere. Our intentions are peaceful. We are the Brotherhood of Steel. So once you kill Kellogg and get outside, the Pridwin arrives, the uh, big Zeppelin type ship from the Brotherhood of Steel. And this effectively ends Act 1 and starts a new quest. So uh, now we can actually go to the Brotherhood of Steel again, so back to Paladin Dance and uh, try, there we go, Shadow of Steel started and uh, get on board of the Pridwin together with Dance and the rest of the... Uh, the Brotherhood of Steel. So that's going to be for next time. So we can watch them sail off in the distance. I would have done Cabot House first. But since our power armor is really, really in a bad state. We really need to find a power armor station. I know there's one on the Pridwin. So that's going to be a lot easier than just running around and trying to find one. So next time we're heading to the Pridwin. So thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And uh, hope to see you guys in the next episode of Fallout 4 Survival. Goodbye.